Hey guys, welcome back to another video and on this one we're going to be building the best Pokemon for raids on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. That's right, it's going to be Delibird. Now, I wasn't actually going to upload this video because Delibird is just way too strong. I wasn't sure that people was ready for it just yet, but it has to be done. Just don't take on six star raids with it because you're going to have a bad time. So first we're going to start off with where to actually get Delibird. So you just want to fly over to Montenevra. And then we're just going to be coming this way. And on this little snow path right here is where you'll find your deli bird. So just keep an eye out. If you really need to use a flying type sandwich to get rid of all the ice type Pokemon. Okay, so I did make a sandwich to speed things up, as you can probably tell. But you just want to run into your deli bird when you find it. And then you want to catch it and you want to make sure it's an ice type terror because that's the terror we're going to be using. There is actually two builds for this. I'm going to show you the one that I'm going to be using but I will tell you the other build and the other build will be a flying type terror. So like I said, ice type terror and the item we're going to be using is the metronome. What this does is every time you attack, you get an increase of 20% every single turn. As long as you're using the same move you did the last time you attacked. So on the first turn, it will be 100% just normal. Second turn, it will be 120, then 140 and so on until 200% at a maximum. If it's interrupted, it will get reset. So to get the metronome, you want to fly over to Lavincia North. And then we're just going to be running this way to the Deli Bird shop, which is right here. And then you want to click battle items, scroll down a little bit, and you'll see the metronome for 15,000 Poker Dollars. You just want to go ahead and buy that and then equip it onto your Deli Bird. When you come out of the shop, turn right. We're going to be going to this black and green shop next to get our nature mint. We're going to be running the modest nature because we're going to be running a special attacking build. So I want you to scroll down until you see the light blue mints and it will cost 20,000 polka dollars. And then you want to use it on your deli bird. Now you can get the adamant mint here if you want to go with a physical build. I'll explain both in the video. So there we go. Up in special attack, down in attack, which will be the modest mint. And our EVs are going to go into special attack and HP. If you don't know how to get your EVs, you can buy the items from the actual shop you were just in, the Chansey Supply Shop. It will be the HP ups and the calciums, so you'll need 26 of each, to, and that will come to a total of 520,000 polka dollars. Now you want to make sure you have max IVs on your daily bird as well. This will get your stats up even more. So to check your IVs, you just want to go on main menu, then click boxes. Hover over your deli bird and then click the plus button and your stats on the right will change. As you can see on one of my stats, it says best. That means max IV. And on all of my other stats except attack, it says hyper trained. I have hyper trained them, so they're max IVs as well. You don't want to do the attack because that will be a waste of money. So just figure out how many bottle caps you need to buy. And then we can visit a deli bird shop. It doesn't matter which one. You can go to any of them and then click general goods and the bottle caps will be sold for 20,000 each. Every bottle cap can be traded in for one perfect IV. So I needed four because I already had best HP. So it only cost me 80,000 polka dollars instead of 100,000. Once you've got all your bottle caps, you're going to come to the top of the map and fly over to Montenevra. And then we're going to be speaking to this person in the back right over here, right next to the Obama Snow. He will hyper train your Pokemon. Click on your Deli Bird and then click Bottle Caps. And then you want to click HP, Defense, Special Attack, Special Defense and Speed. Like I said earlier, Attack would be a waste of a Bottle Cap. And then you would click Start the Training. Moving on to the abilities, we have three abilities for Deli Bird. We have the one we're going to be using, which is Vital Spirit. This stops us from falling asleep. Very good ability, especially against them Pokemon that just put you to sleep 24-7. Second ability is going to be Hustle. This increases our physical attack by 50%, but it lowers our accuracy by 20%. So let's say Ice Beam was a physical attack. The accuracy would go to 80%, but the power would go to 135 Next up, we have our third ability. It's the Hidden ability, and it will be Insomnia. And what this does is the user can't fall asleep. So it's the same as Vital Spirit, except for you've got to use an ability patch to use it. So obviously we're going to take Vital Spirit. Now I'm going to go over the second build really quick before we get into this one properly. The second build you would use would be a physical attacking build and you would use Hustle. So that would put your attack instead of a 55, it would go up by 50% and you would also hold the choice item that gives you special attack. So it would go up an extra 50% again. So instead of your 55 base attack, you would have a 110 base attack and you would use drill peck. That's the only move you would be able to use because of the item. But we're going with a special attacking build. 
just because there's more options and it will give us a higher survivability chance which we will really need with this build because we have 45 defense and 45 special defense and 45 hp let's go over the moves we have ice beam chilling water air slash and freeze dry so ice beam is going to be our main attack 90 power 100 accuracy it may also leave the target frozen very good move our second move is going to be chilling water this will be against those physical attackers we can just spam that lower the attack it won't do as much damage to us which will be really helpful especially in deli bird situation our third move is going to be air slash it's going to be a flying type move just in case you want to use some flying type moves just for coverage really we actually can't learn any setup moves on deli bird which is unfortunate and our fourth move will be freeze dry it's a bit weaker than Ice Beam, more or less the same move, except it's super effective against water type Pokemon. So you could actually take on a water type Pokemon with Deli Bird if you really wanted to, and you'd be super effective against them. Now I've chose to go with this build. You can go with the other one if you really want, so you can get that 110 attack with the item and the ability, but you would be risking accuracy. Now, because the only two moves that Deli Bird actually learns through level up is Present and Drill Peck, we will have to learn all of these through other means. Ice Beam, Chilling Water and Air Slash will be TMs and Freeze Dry will be an egg move. Let me show you where to get the TMs first. So you'll just need to come to a, any Pokemon Center, go to the green section. It's gonna be going over Ice Beam first. So that will be TM 135. It will cost you 10,000 LP, five Cryogonal Ice, three Shelder Pearls, and three Deli Bird parcels. You know where to get Deli Bird, I showed you earlier, so we're not gonna go over that. But let me show you where to get the other two items. So to get Cryogonal, you're gonna wanna come right here on the map. So what I'm gonna do is fly over to Paldius Highest Peak, and then I'm just gonna jump down. They're not that easy to uh, appear but I think there's one it's not coming down so I'm just gonna throw a Pokemon up at it and when you find one you just want to take it out and after you take it out you will get your Cryogonal Ice next up we have Shelda so to get Shelda we're just gonna come right here on the map so I'm gonna fly over to Porta Marinada and make my way over and we're just gonna be flying to you see where that sandy bit is right there that mini island we're just gonna be going around there so I'd say just fly down until your Pokemon is forced to go into the water then we're just going to be looking around close to there close to there close to there they're everywhere so you might have to just aim at the actual cloister and throw your pokemon at it if it's underwater and then you're just going to be taking the cloister out or the shelter and that will get you your shelter pearl so next up is going to be tm22 chilling water this one's going to be a lot easier it's only going to cost us 3000 lp free side up downs and free circuit syrups let me show you where to get these so the best way to get these is come to the very bottom of the map fly over to Paco path lighthouse and then we're going to be heading this way towards that pokemon center and uh, near this bridge right over here this mini one you should find some Psyducks there's one and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take it out and then you will get your Psyduck down next go up a bit we're gonna be flying to Metagosa south and then we're just gonna be going forward and jumping into this water right here this is where we'll find our Surskits so a few has spawned as you can see we're just gonna take them out good thing is Deli Bird can just attack things in the water because it's flying type and now we have chilling water Next up, we're going to have TM65 Air Slash, which will cost 5,000 LP, free Noibat Fur, free Wingle Feathers, and free Flamigo Downs. So we're going to start off with the Flamigos for this one. We're going to come right here on the map. So fly over to Paco Path Lighthouse and then make your way over. And when you get to this location right around here, you should see some Flamigos like outside this pond or just above on the edge. You just want to take them out and it will get you your Flamigo Downs. Next up, we have a Noibat. So we'll fly over to Fury Falls. And from when you're standing, when you get here, you just want to turn left a little bit and you see that wall. We're just going to be going up this wall. When you get to the top, you'll reach a bit of green grass and you just want to keep looking along this path until you find a Noibat or a Noivern. So there's a Noibat right over there on its own. We're just going to take that out and that will get us our Noibat fur and last of all we have our wingle feathers to get our wingles we're going to be coming all the way to the top of the map and flying over to north province area free lighthouse when you get here just go behind the lighthouse go into the water until you get to the north paldian sea and then we're just going to be looking around for a flying type pokemon there we go, there's a Pelipper right over there. We're just going to take that out and that will get us our Wingle Feathers. No Deli Bird, stop being violent. Come on. Hey guys, sorry I forgot to show you how to get Freeze Dry. What you need to do, go buy a Mirror Herb from Cash Graffer North and then you'll have to get a Pokemon in your party with Freeze Dry and make sure your Deli Bird has three or less moves and then it will just learn Freeze Dry. Now that we've gone over our full build, let's get into some raids. 
So we have our first victim, which is going to be Houndoom. Even though it's super effective against us, Delibird is basically just the creator of all Pokemon. Rumor goes it, it created Arceus. So let's get into it. It's going to be a grass type, five star. So Houndoom is probably going to be a special attacker. No point in using chilling water. So we'll just get straight into Ice Beam. Do some damage there. This is quite nice damage, actually, for the first turn. It's going to use Will-O-Wisp, but that's not going to affect us. Delibird's too strong to get his power cut in half by Will-O-Wisp. So we're going to use Ice Beam again. Going to do a bit more damage this time because of our Metronome. Then it's going to use Crunch, get a critical hit, and then use Howl, getting a critical hit on us. Shameful. Then it's going to use Sunny Day. Getting ready for a, a fire blast or something along those lines, I would imagine. We're going to use an ice beam again. It's going to use taunt on us. It's on half health already. Just uh, one of the many powers of being Deli Bird. It's going to steal our terror charge. Kind of saw that coming at some point. And then it's going to remove negative effects from itself. I think we get one more attack before the shield goes up. Yeah, we do. So we use ice beam again. Tons of damage. Critical hit. It's going to use Flamethrower. Now, we did go down because I thought it'd be a bit unfair if we didn't go down against the Houndoom with it being a super effective against us. It'd be a bit nasty, wouldn't it? And I didn't want to use Terrestrial Eyes up until now because it'd be a bit unfair. Bit of a one-sided fight, so we'll use it now. I've let Houndoom have its time in the limelight. Time to do some damage. So we use Ice Beam. Do some damage to that shield. Use Ice Beam again to break the shield. The shield goes down. It's going to use Flamethrower while the sun is up and get a critical hit, which is pain. But because we didn't actually need the Terrestrialize anymore, I thought we should just get rid of it. and Make Houndoom think that it's going to be a close fight, and then we can just finish it off. You know, it makes the Houndoom feel a little bit better. And then the Houndoom goes down. I got one of my uh, minions to finish it off. Didn't feel like I needed to dirty my hands with uh, defeating the Houndoom. And we do the first raid. So, as you can see, the mighty Deli Bird is just as strong as ever. Let's move on to the second raid. So we found our second victim. It's going to be a Dragon-type 5-star bomb snow let's get straight into it so we're going to start off with a chilling water decrease that attack going to use layer to even out the uh, playing field so we're just going to use chilling water again and then it's going to use energy ball it's not going to do much damage because uh, we're obviously deli bird and deli bird is just too good to take damage we're going to use chilling water again decrease that attack it's going to use ice punch no damage like i said deli bird's too strong it uses blizzard on us we're going to use ice beam now it's going to steal some of our terror charge so that's fine and then it's going to use layer we're going to use Ice Beam again. We're going to use Energy Ball. No damage. But it does lower our special defense. And then its shield goes up. Now, when you're doing these raids with Deli Bird, what you want to do is just use Chilling Water if, there's a if they're a physical attacker until you actually go down because you don't want to make them feel too bad by beating them too quickly. And then after you come back, you want to terrestrialize and then use Ice Beam to finish them off. Or Freeze Dry if you're against a water type. Okay, so now we're going to terrestrialize. It's going to use Ice Shard, but it's not very effective because we big brained it and went to an Ice type. And then we're going to use Ice Beam, do some damage to that shield. It's going to use Snow Scape, which will only help us. A bomber Snow's frozen solid, so it can't Ice, ice Shard us. We're going to use Ice Beam again to break that shield. Now that the shield's gone down, we're going to use it again to finish the Abomber Snow off. So we use Ice Beam again now that the shield down puts the abomber snow on a little bit of health left and then we'll just use it one more time to finish it off i mean i knew deli bird knew abomber snow knew i think everyone knew really that deli bird was going to win this raid it's just inevitable now let's move on to the third raid okay so our final victim of the day is going to be a five star dragon type hunch crow let's get straight into it so we're going to start off with a chilling water to decrease that attack it's going to use wing attack no damage. Like I said last raid, we don't take damage. Deli Bird. We're going to use Chilling Water again to decrease that attack. Then we're going to use it one more time. It uses Haze to get rid of all that, but that's fine. Oh, that's not fine. Steal some of our Terra Charge. We was about to actually terrestrialize. We're going to use Chilling Water again. It's going to use Hurricane which is really not good. I didn't know it had Hurricane. So we don't hurt ourselves in confusion, so we're just gonna use Chilling Water. Deli Bird is not one to get confused. We're gonna use Hurricane and take us out. You know the routine, let it take you out once so it don't feel too bad. It has Moxie, I did not know that. Trouble is ahead, don't panic. So we're gonna Terrestrialize and use Ice Beam. Gonna do quite a bit of damage. It's Frozen Solid, then steals some of our Terra Charge and reduces negative effects from itself. Uses Hurricane, misses, because we don't get hit by Hurricanes, of course. we are. Too too fast then we're going to use ice beam again do a lot of damage to that shield it's going to use hurricane but like i said we are too fast for the human eye to see because we are deli bird so we avoid it we're going to use ice beam again 
feel like it's time to break that shield. So we break the shield. I can't have Honchkrow getting too confident. I don't want it thinking that it can actually beat Delibird because it can't. No one can. We are confused, but it doesn't matter. It's going to use Nasty Plot to increase its special attack by two stages. We're going to go through the confusion because we don't actually hurt ourselves in confusion, like I said. And then we use Ice Beam to finish off the Honchkrow. And I think that's enough victims for one day. I don't want to wipe out the Pokemon race with Delibird. you got to leave some of them left. And that was the almighty Delibird build. If you think you can control this much power, then go out and build it. But like I said, probably don't go into six star raids with it because when seven star raids aren't around because they are event ones, six star raids are like the best Pokemon right there, the best of the best in raids. And you don't want to hurt the feelings too much. So I would just stay away from them. Let them keep thinking they're the best of the best. Don't want to hurt them too much. And if you want to see a really strong Bombardier build, then click on screen right now and I'll catch you on the next one.